doing. That's this might not exactly work. Drill it, plop it, drop it. Like a baby kicking. Tiddlywinks. So cool. I've had my crack out most of the day. Stinky slinky. There is water running out the back. He's smiling. That is not my fault. All right. I'm gonna go, go back inside and get some money. Go. Finally come to a bitter end. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Retro Revivals. We are back this week in our daily driver. Uh, we are cruising RV everywhere now. Um, after our terrible test drive in the last video. If you're new to the channel, Harvey is our 1976 Dodge Cruise Air that we've been working on for six months. Six months now. So um, we are getting to the point where we need to get some creature comforts installed. We have campsite reservations for less than a week from now and we have no plumbing, electricals disconnected, we don't have mattresses, we don't have a fridge installed. I'm missing a few things. We are currently sitting outside of a store. The idea was to drive Harvey here so we didn't have to drive back and forth. What we're going to try to do is get some plumbing work done. And if you've ever done any plumbing work, you know that you're back and forth to the store multiple times. So why not bring your house to the store? And hey, wish us luck. Oh man, we are rushing. They close in like four minutes. Had to grab a hole saw, we got a bunch of plumbing. This guy's gonna shoot a hole through our poop tank. We are starving. Judging by our plans, we have everything we need. <laughs> I really doubt it. I did run outside a couple times and check the size of the drain, check the faucet connections, grabbed our water pump right there. So I think it helped to have Harvey here. We I actually had a vision of working outside, but it is late. This took forever, so we'll have to get after it tomorrow. Look at that awesome looking RV out here. It is funny to walk out of a store and see it, isn't it? Very much. You don't get much more Midwest than Menards and Culver's back to back. Something exciting to tell you. Okay, what's that? We got our food. Oh. Also, we got 6,000 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, cool. that's how you do a burger. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got more happening tonight. Tyler's trying to get our ceiling light working so we have a little more light. And then we're going to try to piece together some of the plumbing. This tray was in Harvey originally, and it's kind of gross looking, but it looks like a and a nice tray. It's got a drain. Um, so we're planning to set the new water tank on that so that it, if, if it ever leaks or anything, it'll just drain out under the camper. And then we bought a million little PEX connections and different little things that we're going to try to hook up. Uh, this is our water heater, um, Bosch little electric water heater that's going to sit under the sink. All right, Tyler's going to walk through the drain situation. If you saw our last video, we ran a vinyl tube down that will go over to the black tank, hopefully. We haven't drilled into the black tank yet, but this is the puzzle we are going to construct. Yes, very exciting, uh, as most plumbing is. We've got an inch and a half uh, tailpipe or tailpiece coming off of the bottom of the sink. That is going to come into our inch and a half to inch and a quarter reducer. Inch and a quarter reducer is going to go to our inch and a quarter P trap. The inch and a quarter P trap is going to come over here to this T fitting where we're going to have a studer valve up here. That... Air admittance valve. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, made by studer. Is it? We got a yeah. brand new. Ooh, fancy oh valve. Gosh. Okay. Is there any other? Anyway, yeah. that's going to tee off and that's going to that's going to vent. We don't even know if we need this vent, but the point of it is to let air into the line. It's a one-way air vent so that the water from your trap, as the momentum is carrying it, doesn't just get sucked all out. And it would break the siphon. So your trap keeps water in it, which is very important because the stinky gases you don't want to come back up your sink. So there's gotta be water there. Good, good explanation. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. So, and then our T is gonna come out here to this uh, hose barb fitting, which is gonna come out the side of our cabinet, inch clear tube that is gonna run all the way across the back of our seats here and down into our black tank. 
It's coming together. We just got to get some glue on it. I've been putting the water pump together. This is just a little Amazon special. Um, I got the Teflon tape. You got to go on the right way, which is always a fun little game. And um, we got these fittings so we can throw packs right into the water pump. I hate that it's a theme that we're taking apart things that we already did. We didn't expect to be out here pulling this off tonight, but um, we were just going to cut a hole in the side of the couch, put the water thing, you know, hose into this for the fresh water tank. But it comes in too high, it would have come in a visible part of the couch that we can see. So we can't drill straight through the couch, we have to only drill the outside and run the water tube and vent tube down the armrest of the couch. It broke a little seal. Yeah. Or did it break the... There's my fingernails cracking. <laughs> and we did a good job putting that on, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Look at how stuck that is. It's butyled and proflexed and... There ain't little blood and sweat. Yeah, tears, most likely. Here it comes. Oh, that's gooey. That's perfect. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, so keep that. We'll just mm -hmm. reuse that. Right. So, yep. Just fire it up, don't you think? <laughs> <sighs> I'll do what the lady asks. Ah. There, you're in the couch. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Okay, I gotta shut the <laughs> light off here. An attack by the gallywampers. Goes everything. I do like how quick that cuts. Tonight, it's a new one. It's paper thin balsa. So. Yeah. So here's our water tank. Uh, our fresh water is going to come into here. We've got a threaded connection with some barbs. We'll um, hose clamp that. But it's got a knockout we've got to remove. So Tyler put this screw so we can just kind of hold it and hopefully it won't disappear and we'll have to fish it out of the tank. Yeah. Um, the water will come out from here. This is threaded half inch and go to our water pump. And up here, we've got another threaded half inch that's going to go onto this guy, and that's our vent. So we've got vent tube. And so that's so when you're filling your water tank that it doesn't pressurize and basically burst your tank. Or, I mean, usually it just lets you not put water in as well, but um, you, can, you can expand these things and blow them up if you're not careful. So, um, yeah, vent your tank. That should do it. That's it? Yeah. That was thicker than I thought. You're going to go give it a rinse. I'll throw some Teflon tape on our fitting, and then when you get back, we'll be ready to put okay. that fill hose thing on, right? Sure. So that's the vent. I'm going to have to probably go inside. Look at how long this thing is. Yeah. <laughs> they only sold it in, like, 10 feet. We needed, like, 3 feet. Yep. All right, I got it. All right, now I'm going to start adding the big pipe. All right. I'll try to grab the end of it. Can you feel it or no? No. I can see it moving the couch. It's like a baby kicking. He's going to be a soccer player. He is. <laughs> oh, wait, I feel it. Yep, keep her coming. Where's our hose? There's one. It was off to the side like that. Thing. That was the top. That those letters, I think. Oh, okay. All right. And I'll have to re seal. Yeah, it got like tweaked a little, twerked or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it got twerked. <laughs> it's like a little bent, is what I'm saying. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. He's, He's going to try to go right into the RV. He yes. spotted our weakness. Look at 
Yeah. Stinking thing. Yeah, we twerked it. Right. <laughs> He's the twerking it. Ah! We're about to screw it, drop it, flop it, push it. This <laughs> hole. All right. Don't you mean drill it, plop it, drop it, push it? Why would we? Drill it, drop it, plop it, push it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what you want to do. <laughs> we finally got that crazy metal thing in and so now we're ready to set the tank in um here's what we wound up with this one's our pex that's going to go to the pump freshwater fill vent use teflon tape don't know we're, this would probably be a good time to say that we're not plumbers and this might not exactly work exactly how it's supposed to, um, but we're going to give it a whirl, and if it starts leaking, then we'll fix it. If I put a little soap on those threads. Barbs. Barbs. <laughs> oh, boy. Catch it. See it slide now. Look at her go. Oh, can you want me to push? It. That's a way better fit than what's on the outside. Hey guys, Christy's away overnight for work. I wanted to surprise her by putting a hole in the black tank and running our gray water line from the kitchen sink into the black tank. I think she'll be surprised. I mean, whose wife doesn't like a new hole in their poop tank? Oh, by the way, this is the exhaust pipe I'm resting my head on right now. Um, it's a pretty tight fit under here. So anywho, this is our black tank all covered in spray foam from head to toe. I've got a scrape. Uh, spot up here up high hopefully um, dig that out so I can get our gray hose in there I've got a grommet um, I've got some sealant we'll see how it goes to be honest I'm nervous about this whole endeavor I hope the, uh, the tank drained when we went to the dump station I wish I could show you guys a little bit better okay maybe that'll be it all right so that's the grommet going to insert that into the uh, black tank after I use my hole saw and then we'll slip that tube into the grommet. My brilliant idea of surprising Christy is quickly spiraling out, spiraling out of control. Um, so you'll say, hey Tyler, why did you uh, dig out a completely random spot of foam that uh, doesn't look like it's going to mean anything? Well, that's so I can get my drill in there. Check this out. It may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but now I've got room to drill. Uh, I th should be able to hit this straight on now. So here goes nothing. I can't get a tripod in here, so I'm just gonna rest this camera here and uh, start drilling. Success. The plastic didn't fall in. Whew. Ba -ba. Hole in the tank. So here's the plan, right or wrong. I put some ProFlex around the outside to seal that. I've already checked the fit. It's going to pop in there. It looks so good. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can throw this uh, tube in there now. All right. Well, that looks good. Huh? What I'll probably do tomorrow is fill in the gap around this 
uh, gray water hose in the grommet there um, with a little bit more sealant. I believe it's meant for a rigid pipe or something along those lines. This uh, flexible hose just doesn't want to seal up as well as what we would uh, hope for. So anyway, I'm going to seal around that tomorrow and we should be all set. I just got home from my overnight work trip and I was excited to find a new poop hole. So, <laughs> well, I didn't get that close of a look. It's, um, it's hard to see. It's raining. So just a quick peek, but I'm super excited to really check that out a lot more closely once it stops raining. Guys, you should marry a wife that's easily impressed. So now we have to do some plumbing so we can send some stuff to that new poop hole. <laughs> what we're using for plumbing is half inch packs so we bought the red and blue for the hot and cold for a diy person um for us this is the way to go so we're using half inch crimp rings uh they make half and three quarters pretty standard household stuff and then this uh crimper is also a half and three quarter inch crimper for your crimp rings this one it's a bit tight but it does the job and we've had it for years, so that's what we're going to use. They do make a newer style that's more of a, a band and a different style of crimper. And I'm sure those work great, too. But uh, we're cheap, and we <laughs> use what we've got. Okay, so we've got our freshwater fill going to our freshwater tank. From there, we need to go out to the pump. And then from the pump, we're going to shoot it over to the bathroom, to the kitchen. Um, we'll send one to the water heater, and then off of that, we'll start using the red packs and run a hotline back to the bathroom and a hotline to the kitchen and yeah easy as that just that easy to cut the packs we just kind of get it roughly the measurement you want it so hmm. we'll just have enough hands uh five and a half inches and we'll give it a little snip all right. Voila. Perfect. If I had to say there was one thing I was most concerned about with this plumbing is that we're tying into this old black pipe stuff. But we'll see. I mean, if we turn the water on and it starts shooting everywhere, we'll know. But... I mean, the way it's connected all inside the wall over there and to the toilet and places we don't even know where it runs. If this works, this is going to save so much heartache. Whatever you do, don't pinch your fingers in there. That hurts. You've done that? No, <laughs> but I imagine it hurts. It's raining cats and dogs outside. Yeah, it is. Oh. Tiddlywinks. You know, when you make sound effects, it actually makes the work more fun. We've got our cold water down below the floor now. I feel like we need to run a stick from here over to there to see what if I'm going to run into any problems. <laughs> Right on the old belly, you see that? Oh, you're in a puddle? Yeah. All right. In between. This is so crazy. The stinky thing is, it's supposed to actually rain this weekend while we're camping, too. <laughs> oh, man. They said trick or treating's going rain or shine, though, so at least we have that. All right. There he is. Hey. How's everybody doing? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my foot is getting super wet. <laughs> so is my back. It was at this point we actually had to stop for the day. We started packing up. We just couldn't get the PEX crimpers in at the right angle. So on some of these connections underneath, we'll have to get some shark bite fittings. And it was overall just pretty wet and miserable. So we'll pick up again tomorrow. Here we are. All right, yesterday I said that PEX was the easy way to go for DIY plumbers. 
If you want one step easier, go for these shark bites. Literally takes no tools, you just push together, but look how expensive these things are. A piece, holy cow. The other warm tip is this stuff does not really want to lay flat once you unroll it. So you're probably better off going with these sticks for an RV project than trying to wrangle this stuff. Tyler got to work while I was gone and surprised me with an awesome gray water connection. And so um, he was out of town last night. He'll be back later today. And so I'm gonna try to get some work done while he's gone and hopefully surprise him and hopefully still be able to go camping tonight. And it is not looking good inside that camper, but I've got most of the day I can dedicate. And so let's see what happens. In no way are we ready to go. So it seems kind of weird to be putting the mattress up. However, this is actually something we should have done a couple days ago. I'm gonna get it up there, undo it. It should start fluffing. And I thought it was supposed to fluff for like 24 hours before you laid on it. I don't know, the directions just say, allow a maximum of 72 hours before adding. So a maximum of 72 means we could probably do it in two or three hours from now. <laughs> I don't know what the minimum is, but I'm gonna try to throw it up there and see what happens. Well, if you're asking yourself, is this really happening? I'm asking myself the same question. This is the black tank thing pinning me down. Not really, I'm safe and sound, but I'm gonna try to get up here and um, get these shark bites on. We'll see. So this is the problem Tyler was faced with last night. We've got our 90 on there and then this coming down, which needs to go into it. However, he couldn't get the crimpers up in there to get a ring on here. So I'm gonna cut this off. It's nice down here. I'm gonna cut this off and then um, use our shark bite to try to connect these and then hopefully connect the hots and get out from under our black tank, which is not a pleasant place to be. <sighs> All right, the plumbing's going about as well as I would have expected. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to surprise Tyler because I'm to a point where it's a two person job. There's really no way to video down there, um, but I got the shark bite on the one piece and it's lined up with the other one. I just need someone in the RV to push down as someone underneath pushes up. So when he gets home, we'll have to do that together. Uh, it is nice that it's not raining. I can't believe he was doing that yesterday in the rain. It's crazy. I'm putting together some low point drains for this side. Um, I'm using the shark bites because same thing, it's really hard to get the, the crimpers underneath the camper. There's just not a lot of room to work. So this will attach to the pipe that's coming from this side. This is gonna come up to the kitchen. And then I've got a drain on here that we can just open. That's closed so we can just open when we want to drain the water out of the camper and then close it back up to keep all the whatever out of our pipes so I'm gonna go ahead and do one for the cold side too and I'll show you how easy these shark bites are I mean it doesn't take a lot of plumbing expertise to use these things so you just literally put your pipe in push and you have to you kind of feel it almost click like you'll feel it seat there it goes so you don't want to go just to the first you'll feel it almost like two or three little notches and then you're in it's not ideal to use a bunch of these because they're like ten dollars and up i think this was like thirteen dollars which is insane um so we use the pex fittings wherever we can um, but if you can't get your crimpers in there shark bites are a nice alternative Here's the finished low point drains that will connect. So as you can see, there's quite a mess in here. There's a few other things I wanna do, but uh, I'm gonna need to start with cleaning up. So here's the mattress getting all puffy. I'm gonna set you here and you can join me as I clean.
videos, we were putting up the paneling and there was no actual texture in it, but it looked like there was, it looked like there were grooves. And several people were like, no, you can't put some of it up vertical and some of it horizontal. And you know, it turns out we were painting it, so it didn't really matter, you can't see it anyway. But it's just funny because like even bit something like this, like I cannot leave this screw partly turned. <laughs> I have to get it exactly level. So there is no way we would put paneling in this way and that. One of the things we absolutely need to get done before we go today is to cover these. So that's where our furnace was. This is where the fridge was and hopefully will be again at some point. So I've got this metal. I'm going to um, do a little Proflex and tape and try to cover those up. Surprise Tyler might still have some hope. Jack's home, well, Jack's home from school. And I'm gonna see if he can push those pipes down to me and get this plumbing hooked up. So here we go. Which one am I pushing down? hard isn't it yeah. almost got it good dude you are awesome looks good good job dude you got it <laughs> check it out it's not the prettiest, but we just couldn't get the crimpers down there. So raised her up a little and hopefully we did a good job. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I got to see your reaction. Are we walking in right now? Yeah. Okay. So full disclosure, it looked a lot better than this before yesterday. The paint to the ceiling and the Well, light. come in. Oh, Chelsea's in front of me. Ah! <gasps> Look at your birthday banner. Oh, it's, not, it's your birthday banner now. Oh, jeez. Okay. okay. Watch your step. I am booby trapping it. Does it look different than when you saw it before? Yeah. Is this the fridge? Oh, I don't know. Well, okay, so there's no fridge in there. Well, yeah. <laughs> Is it going to be the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do have a cool um, new fridge that looks like a cooler, though. Oh yeah. We freezer. nicknamed it Bougie. I don't okay. It's <laughs> Bougie. <laughs> and okay. it's named Bouge RV Fridge. Okay. So anyway, this was gonna be your birthday party and we were gonna have a table here. There's the table. Oh, and I still cool. need to make a spot I know, I for it to ride with. You like that? Yeah. I just put our mattress up there and it's inflating nicely. It was about two inches tall this morning. So, yeah. Have you guys seen the kitchen? Uh, no. Oh, I like the stove. Oh, I love the stove. Is it Isn't it working? awesome? Yeah. Well, the generator's not turning on. Jade and I watched the green oh, paint go on. You've been watching and, our videos? Well, we just watched the green. Oh. And we were like, both thinking like... You mm. hated it? No, I like it. Um, you know what? I have some other green accents and we'll do some little plants too. and... Yeah, it'll it'll all fit together I in the like end. It. I like this and I like the light too. Thanks. Okay, Megan, flip it. Um, Were you guys super disappointed that we didn't roll up to your college? I was crying. Yeah. <laughs> it was exciting. Oh. Have a birthday dinner right. in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been so cool. <laughs> there she is. Yay! Yeah, the whole gang. The whole gang. She's going to Oh, man. What are you doing? All right, well, 
good to see you guys home. Yeah. And I'm going to crawl back under the RV because I'm trying to finish the plumbing before Dad gets home. Anyone want to help? No. Oh. I have surprises for you. <laughs> Are they good surprises? Yeah. You ready? Sure. Okay. Board thing under the bed. Nice. I brought in the ladder. Hey, yeah. Mattress is fluffing up. Sweet, a place to sleep. Yep. Jack and I don't look too close, but it's plumbed. <laughs> and right. this is almost ready to go. That just I didn't put the hot water tank in completely because of the outlet back there. I thought you might want to take that out to resecure the outlet. But sure. then this is ready to go. Okay. And I mean there's nineteen thousand things. Yes. That we didn't get done. Right. Of like, course. look at this. Well. <laughs> but I think this is going to be a blessing in disguise because we don't have room to put camping chairs and all that. The, uh... Oh, I, yeah. I put that in. Hey. I got the low point drains in. Nice. I low don't. Point. Yeah. Nice. So. Good for you. You're a plumber now? I, I've had my crack out most of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Well, that's a mandatory if, thing. If I mean, that answers not, your question. They didn't name it that for you know, no good reason. Either. Right. So, anyway, a couple more things. Um, I think I need to start packing up, like, food and all that. And then, are we still going tonight? If you say so. Do we test the water? If the water works, we go. If it doesn't work, we fix it and go in the morning. That's a distinct possibility. Okay. Plumbing done maybe we're gonna test it in a minute throwing the old what do you call it stinky slinky <laughs> in the compartment and we're gonna drive down and test out the water situation it does look like rain tonight at the campground Perfect. like all night so just so you know <laughs> Okay, trial run. We're about ready to fill the fresh water tank in Harvey here with water and <laughs> see how that plumbing is going to work. You're going to turn on the hose. I'm going to start shooting water in the thing. You'll go in the camper and watch the perfection in action. Okay. Water coming on. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. If we start seeing water run out the back here somewhere, we know that's a bad sign. Nice. Uh, stop. Yeah. Dang. I guess we should have got some towels. There is water running out the back. I have no idea. It's running all over the back of the cushion, though. I mean, I'll... Oh, shoot. All right, let me go get some towels. Oh. You investigate. Okay. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, it's... It's our outside connection. Oh, gosh. Why? Dang. Oh, my gosh. Tyler's taking off the cover. It Well, it's the very first connection that could have gone wrong did. The, the first one. Oh, oh, look at it. He's smiling. I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. <laughs> it is running. We're parked at a pretty severe angle. So it's running along the back and dripping down here. We can actually get to that. Um, the couch with the way it folds down, we can reach our arm down there and dry that up once we okay. figure stuff out. Did we do this in the dark the other night? <laughs> we did do this in the dark, but then I feel like, did we yank it off or something? You know what I mean? Like we were, I when we fed it through the arm of the couch, like could it have come dislodged off of this I thing? I have no earthly idea. Oh my gosh! The stinking thing's not even connected anymore. That is not my fault. Where the heck is it? Um, it's in the couch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Look at that. All that good butyl. 
Oh my I'm gosh. Get my arm up in there. I have the pipe in my hand. Can you lift okay. up that white uh, butyl thing? Yeah. Oh, I cannot believe that. Stinking. I can't get it to make the curve now. Do we not have enough slack in it to get it? Oh, did we push our tank too far? You want me to hold it and you can shimmy our tank back this way a little? Or will it we not can shimmy? try. That should be long enough. I mean, in theory. It's the problem is the stinking, it's too big. So this white thing said to order either inch and a quarter or inch and a half hose. And the freshwater tank called for inch and a half. So we're like, sweet, we'll get inch and a half. Well, the problem is this barbed doodad here is nowhere near an inch and a half. This clamp apparently didn't hold up with us jockeying around on the fresh tank, but it, the thing is, it needs, I mean, it's going to be bumping down the road, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, yeah, we got to just pull, room. yeah. There's a lot of room for air here. This is crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. You know, we had the, the botched birthday attempt drive the other night, and we were so rushed, and I'm like, I don't ever want to do that again. Like, it was, honestly, it was traumatic trying to get ready to go. And we're doing the same thing today. Like, except we also just flooded the thing, so that's cool. I mean, you can't really tighten it down enough, honestly. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. I mean, if you feel like that's enough, maybe go more, but um don't crack anymore. yeah that's it that's where i got with it is i didn't want to crack that stupid wow. plastic thing it, it's loose in there right now i mean it just moved again after i did that did it really yeah and just as a point of clarification we have not connected this at this point so we don't have i mean the campground doesn't have full hookup so we wouldn't be able to use this anyway so, um, that's why we're going this route, but can we put another pipe clamp on? You could, yes. Would it, I mean, should we just put six or seven of them? Well, you don't have room for that. I'm just kidding, but should we put another one? Maybe. The problem is also that white plastic in there gets, like, there's, it steps down. Yeah, I so, know. So, like... If you're on the fattest part of it and then it slips like just one little bit, then it's on a slimmer part. So maybe a second pipe clamp on the skinnier part would do us good. We could try it. Try that? Yeah. Okay. All right. This one's a little too small. Too big. One plumbing bin we have. Oh, let's see. Too small. Way too big. Why do we buy so many that are so big? Weird. What in the heck? What kind of plumbing are we doing that requires so many of these? Huge. Wow, there must have been a good sale or something. Oh, gotta check another bin. And I found this Fernco. I think this size will work for us. Gross. It's maybe used, but we'll go with this. All right, we got this second clamp on. And Tyler's going to turn the hose back on. I'm going to wait till he's inside before I actually put it in there. We're also going to leave this out so we can see if it's disaster striking again. Take two, water coming on. You got the hose on high enough, jeez. Look at that. Let me just stop for a sec. All right, I stopped for a sec. Anything disastrous? No. Well, the good news is I don't have a water curtain falling down from the armrest of the couch. I'm sure. We just filled up the arm of that couch with water that ran all down the back. 
Oh. I did just sigh. <laughs> I have to say the lights look nice. You want me to turn on the pump? Oh boy. All right, so we wired this little toggle switch here. Let me turn on the light. It um, doesn't light up. It's supposed to. I don't know if we did it wrong or what, but we'll toy with it a little bit. You ready? Yeah. Just real quick on and off or just leave it on? You gotta leave it on let it prime. Sucking water, which is good. I hear something. Where's that? I don't, know. I don't know if it's just I hear something. I am scared right now. Okay, nothing. Keep going. Okay. Really? I don't see any dripping. Is it bound open underneath? What do I hear? I hear something. Oh, this the sink's on. Oh my gosh, the sink works. Okay, well, something's dripping. The toilet's dripping. Okay. Okay, shut the pump. Oh, the toilet's not even connected. Oh my gosh, are we dinguses? Well. Oh my gosh. Well, thankfully there it goes right to the drain. Yeah. Oh gosh. I am so nervous right now. Oh my gosh. What connection? Oh my gosh. It's fine. Remember, stay calm. <laughs> Somebody epoxied the tape to the water hose. Who? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it doesn't want to come off anymore. That's something. Oh, I'm getting shelled. I, all day. Literally. If we're in the back, we're hit by walnuts. If we're in the middle, we're hit by acorns. And if we're up here, what are these? Hickory nuts? Yeah, hickory. 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 Yeah, we need a toilet hose, I think. All right. Well, let's go see if we have it. I mean, to me, the main thing of getting the water going is to have a toilet. So <laughs> we'll see. We found a couple yeah. flexible faucet connectors, which are not the same as toilet connectors. But we're going to see if one of those works and save us a trip to the store. We need uh, mail on this end. It would be better if it was, you know how the uh, the toilets have the plastic though? Yeah. It, that's what we need. We need. I'm to... about to go take one off the toilet in the house. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even kidding. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, Does it fit on the other thing? No, the, I mean the other side's female. And oh. it's bigger than this. Hello, old friend. Well, we were pretty sure that this was going to do the trick. Doesn't fit. The kids still want to go tonight. We're debating on whether it's the right choice. The uh, wiper blades are actually pretty terrible and it's raining. So I think Tyler's saying if we can get new wiper blades, we'll still go tonight. It would be nice to just wake up in the morning there. Uh, can you hear that? Oh my gosh, those hazelnut or whatever they are, hickory nuts are crazy. Um, the smart thing would be to go in the morning. We'll see. Here's the current state of affairs. We are at O'Reilly's to try to get wiper blades and we realize that the fitting is not a standard plumbing fitting. It's an NPT fitting, which is an automotive fitting. So we're going to see if they have anything. And if not, we're back to Home Depot. But we're getting the camper fixed tonight. And we're leaving first thing in the morning, right? Right on. It's wet and raining. Everything closes in about 30 minutes. So we will check in in a bit. We might have had O'Reilly's success. Maybe. Okay, so we've got, what size of heater hose is this? It's a half inch heater hose. Half inch heater hose. <laughs> With a 5 8 inch <laughs> adapter that's not supposed right. to go in a half inch hose, but it fits. Yep. And it 
I mean, if it's too tight, that's all right. Sure. We're not drinking the water, so sending it through a rubber tube is probably okay. Yes. And we got some hose clamps. Yep, hose clamps. And if all else fails, we bought some plugs. So we'll just plug the water line temporarily. If it's the NPT fitting. And we have wiper blades. Yeah. And that trip to O'Reilly's was over a hundred dollars. I just got a call from O'Reilly's. Apparently they overbilled me. Um, windshield wipers aren't that expensive. It turns out when they add brake pads to your windshield wipers, <laughs> uh, it gets more expensive. So we're going back to O'Reilly's. They're going to refund us $52, I think it was. Yeah, seriously, I was thinking, <laughs> um, my stuff with the tubes and the things weren't that expensive. I, I seriously thought those wiper blades were like 40 bucks each. All right, I'm gonna go, go back inside and get some money. Go get our money. Hello, Harvey, my old friend. <laughs> we finally come to a bitter end. <laughs> a bitter end. <laughs> I was going with, it's time to plumb with you again. Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> a bitter end. <laughs> this is it. Channel <laughs> over. <laughs> No camping. Sorry you came all this way with us. Go. Oh, right. We can't really see what you're doing, but people can just trust us that we got fittings and maybe they're right this time. Because if they're not, I don't know what we'll do. We've seriously tried every different kind of fitting we could think of. It is what it is. It doesn't go any further. Does it, it really doesn't go. Not like it's supposed to, no. I mean, they must have had different plumbing in the 70s. Different threads. We also got the new wiper blades, so here's the old. Here's the new. Hopefully they work. Very fancy compared to this thing. What in the world? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. All right, Ella, you ready for us to test it again? Yeah. Okay, listen and watch for like any spraying water from over there, okay? Ready? Well, huh? it's gonna leak from the, uh, the pipe fitting. Let's see if anything else is leaking. Okay. I think I hear the water heater filling up. Is there anything else? That is loud. I mean, the pump's not loud, but like the water sound is making me nervous. What's the, where's your sound coming I don't know, just, there's just a lot of sounds, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't see any drips. You sure that's not doing anything crazy over there? Oh, I'm not drum sure of I think it's just pushing a lot of air. Are we? It's probably sucking air. Is it sucking air? I bet. Yeah, it probably is sucking air. Dang, Nab. So we need to put more water in this thinking thing? Uh -huh. All right, fourth time's a charm. Just adding water, so hopefully it's not sucking air. I still feel like that water tank here is filling up. So this is not an RV water tank. Um, it's for a home. And uh, it's something that we're going to have to empty when we go to winterize this. We'll have to disconnect it and actually flip it upside down. There it goes. Nice. All right, let's see if the pump stops at some point. Yeah, that it's would building be good. pressure. It's probably yeah. gonna blow up in here. Yeah. What? I hear something. Oh, we gotta. 
Listen. Oh, I see it running right there. Where? Water's running right oh, there. Oh, shoot. All right. That's from underneath. That's a shark bite. Okay. That's from underneath. All right, so we got to push down harder into that shark bite. Tyler just went under there and we re pushed these together. So we think that leak's taken care of. The bathroom is still spritzing a little. So we might just have to turn on the pump only when we need to flush. I don't know. Obviously we would cut that too. We didn't want to cut it until we knew it was going to work and it seems like it might not. So if anyone knows camper plumbing, let us know. But I think this is what it's going to be like for our trip. Um, the one thing we haven't tried yet is the drains, including our crazy gray water drain. So I think that's up next. All right. Well, I got a visual on the uh, gray water thing. Do you want to pull that plug and check the P-trap? And I'll watch, see if our water's doing its thing. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see it flowing. Okay, so Tyler got the wiper blades changed. Yep. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. And the plumbing is 96% working that we know of. Yeah, at least 96. So there's just still a little leak in the bathroom that um, it's not going to stop us from camping. So we just need to clean up our tools again and load up our stuff. So we're not going to leave tonight. But um, hopefully first thing in the morning we roll out and we still have our happy birthday banner up because why? You're going to have a birthday and so is Ella. Yeah, so my birthday's in two days and Ella's is in three days. So um, we are going to get to that campground one way or another and yeah. trick or treat and have fun and hopefully relax and definitely take a nap. And, um, yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Hey, we're taking off tomorrow, so make sure you watch the next video. We're going to show all of our escapades on our trip. Hopefully they are trouble-free and Harvey, but we just want to have fun, you know? We really appreciate all the support. We thank all you guys that are subscribing and watching all the other videos, giving us the thumbs up. Hey. Leave a comment down below. Hey. Hey, why not? Hey. You know? No, we do appreciate everybody. All right, have a good night, guys. We'll see you next time.